Okay, Capricorn, wow, I've got no idea where to take this. I don't know if I'm going to edit it and let you see some of the clips of the old film that I've done, your reading. But fucking hell, what an absolute mess to the fact that I'm just like, I was ashamed to, to even try and read it because it was such a fucking mess. There was some fucking dark shit involved in that. I don't want to go too far into it because I'm not trying to cause illusion, but there was some fucking darkness in it. Okay, now in that you add weird science, weird science, which is temperance, which is Sagittarius, and it relates to everything that I've got, dark working, Sagittarius, weird science, what I've been talking about. Trying to put together the perfect model of someone, but someone with, like Taurus was involved, Taurus, or a committed marriage, where someone was sleeping with other people, but staying firm in a commitment because of children and marriage, but using someone else as a as a fucking scapegoat of playing a fucking I mean what was your name? Fucking McLovin? What are you loving on McLovin? Fucking a pimp? You know, I don't know who's doing this to fucking Capricorn, but I got fucking pissed off through that reading. So I'll either show you a clip of what the cards were if they come out again. But underneath the deck we did have fucking the four uh the nine of wands. PTSD, post traumatic stress disorder. So I didn't even want to do that, right? But we'll see, Capricorn. But because I, I, I couldn't, I couldn't even make sense of it. It was, a, it was a mess. It was a mess. I've still got the footage, but so Capricorn for the rest of November, please. Capricorn for the rest of November. Capricorn for the rest of November, please. Spirit lights. Yeah, that as well, and that, and that was down here. So you've got the Four of Cups, the High Priestess, Seven Swords underneath. The Four of Cups and the High Priestess talks about either using your intuition or not, Virgo or Pisces. Oil quality of Virgo, and also being the opposite sign of a direct scale of a cycle of Pisces. Silent, intuition, using it or not using it. Feeling stuck and stubborn and stuck under a tree, pouting like Kermit the Frog. Not accepting offers, not giving out offers, just some kind of weird, fucking weird science, man. It is. It's, it's fucking Capricorn, or someone's doing it to a Capricorn, and it's involving Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo. Fire signs. Weird science. Please check it out. Weird science. Working through dark energies. I knew this was fucking happening. A vision. Thank you, Spirit. A vision that I had about weird science, and I put it up about the explosion in America, the shooting in America, and the explosion in Melbourne, okay? Gas, 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 fire, 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 which happened in Melbourne, but it also related to Libra, Sagittarius, and something else about gaslighting, and it's been very prominent down here in Libra, Libra reading. You know, I'm put, I, I can put the pieces together <laughs> quite easily. Weird science. Weird science. Trying to put the pieces together of a perfect model. You know, what the fuck are you? Fucking McGlovin or, or a pimp or fucking Kermit the Frog or what? For Hermit, the Virgo, Virgo, again. Was there. Was there. Or Pisces. Oh, again. Again, fucking hell, three of swords. I mean, I don't even want to read this because I don't know what you guys have got going on, Capricorn, but <clears throat> the devil is very much prominent amongst this. You know, I'm doing some work with people, I'm going to be opening my channel up for readings and also doing some dark ascension work, dark workers. Working through dark energies and ridiculing people of this bullshit. Number seven, seven chakras of the world, seven wonders of the world, seven chakras that run through your body, time, it was created, made it physics, loads of different things I'm trying to teach people. So please, if you are stuck in purgatory, then you need to find a light. Hopefully it's me. Capricorn, Capricorn, Capricorn for the rest of November, please, for it. So we've got mind games again, same cards, 
Same cards. What did I say? It was at the bottom of the deck before I started dealing. Purgatory. Fucking nine. PTSD. PTSD. The Empress. The Queen of Pentacles. And at the bottom of the deck is play fighting or internal conflict or external conflict. Okay? So... Let's see. <coughs> so, <coughs> someone is not using their intuition and is, is just stuck. Concentrating on watching the television. Concentrating on watching the television or things that are... I mean, they're not even built up because what's being built? A fucking tower? Because it is, because that is Lucifer's tower. It was, it's, it, Lucifer was cast down below. So the tower represents the devil, obviously, right? Because it's energy as the same as what I'm going to be talking about. Money, finances, career, codependent, 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 codependent. You know, the, the fucking three of swords, uh, three of swords, the five of swords, five, six, seven, eight. Eight could be involving a Scorpio. Sun, moon, rising, or Venus, or you've got it in your chart. Don't ask me how I do my astrology and my things, Capricorn, please, because it's just how I work. Um, so let's have a look at... Um, Leo could be involved. That was, I was sort of like looking here. Uh, let's have a look at the Five of Swords, please, Spirit. Strength, Leo. Well, I mean, you're going to need more than strength to fucking get out of whatever, whatever the last one were or this one. <clears throat> but we don't know yet. Five of Swords, please, Spirit. Stop. Healing. You know, that one again as well. Someone is healing and resting. And that was down here. What was that in? It was crossed. It was crossed over. Healing from mind games and manipulation. Someone is having a heal from mind games and manipulation. Having internal conflict and PTSD because of childish behaviour. I mean here, in the last one, you had Taurus and a firm commitment of a marriage where someone was basically... Well, that's where I'm stuck and that's where I'm staying, but I'll just use you and drag you along. And the other person was kind of like, well, okay, well, I'll let you drag me along because I'm thinking that I'm stupid and going to let just live in fantasy. Because there was a lot of fantasy. There was no love. There was just fantasy and illusion. Three of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles. Three, three, six, 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 Capricorn. Also can talk of, um, what did I pick up 12? I just heard 12. <coughs> Could be involving the Pisces. Um, but basically, a concrete wall of defense of past life, this life, and the next life. And I do do other videos apart from readings on here, where I talked about a scribe, I think that was someone's scribing in a wall or cry like could be a poet and didn't know it because of past life this life and the next concrete walls of dis of destruction of destruction stuck see because that's fixed not moving from anything not moving so that relates to the Taurus but it hasn't come out right fixed and not moving and stubborn Right, And that relates to the same thing, that I'm in a commitment and I'm not fucking budging from it and it's keeping people trapped and lost in purgatory where they probably can't use their intuition and they're fucking holding on to it like with, with dear fucking life, I'm fucking holding on to this bullshit no matter what and I'm just going to commit myself to fucking free party relationship, three little pigs and a big bad wolf. You know, don't commit yourself to something or be committed into a padded cell or something. Because that's because PTSD will send you there. You need to think of your health. 
start using your intuition and think of your health because this is bullshit. Again, mind games, manipulation, healing, mind games, manipulation, stubborn, stuck, fixed, not moving, fixed, fixed, stuck, fixed. Triangle of doom. Triangle of doom, Capricorn. What the fuck, you know? This is fucking... I don't, I, I've got a life path number seven and I drag people fucking kicking and screaming out of fucking purgatory if they need it. That's why it's the truth. Believe you me, if a message needs delivering, I'll fucking deliver it. And someone is fucking with my Geminis and I ain't having that because Gemini's caught up in this, right? So if you're fucking fucking about with a Gemini, piss off. High Priestess, what's the High Priestess being silent for? Is she using her intuition or not? I'm picking up, well, it's BJ. Someone with the letter name of B, J, or John. I'm picking up John, Jack. Jackie. Please. No, I'm not giving out all those names, Spirit. Oh my word, celebrating, not using my intuition. Someone, like water sign, can be Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, but willing to stay fixed and stuck in a three-parted triangle. Three, three. And the two of cups under that. I mean, that is karmic. It means, well, I'm reflecting on a three-party triangle, so I'm either now learning to use my intuition, or I'm fucking not. That could be upside down or not, because it didn't fly out. But that's the mirror reflection of your own stupidity. We need to confess shit to God, to the universe, of all being one universal energy. Well, I'm not going to... I'm not even going to do the readings that I do for people and then explain things, because... I'm annoyed. I'm fucking annoyed. <laughs> I couldn't breathe in the last one. As soon as I started, I couldn't breathe. Same as Gemini's. I couldn't breathe. Darkness. Black. Darkness. I couldn't breathe. Love is just a feeling created by the darkness, by Lucifer. The pull of codependency that make us realise that love is only just a feeling. It's actually created by God, by abandoning, by abandonment, by being reincarnated. Reincarnated, I don't even know what I was, I don't know, I don't know. Could be doing with an Aquarius, star seed, star is born, maybe. Got a star here. <coughs> but, you see, when we was reincarnated, Lucifer was the great God, was the great sacrifice of all, because Lucifer was the most sacred first over Archangel. Okay, and he fell through as a fallen angel and he hit the ground running from one to six. Okay, created seven, basically, right? Everything. Alignment. Pull your fucking selves together. It, re it teaches us to release. So death, could, it should well be here. Release. 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 There you go. Look, Taurus again. Taurus. And that was when I was looking at the Three of Cups. So we'll leave that there because I was looking at that as I see it. If I say it, see it, see it, say it. If you don't believe me, go and watch someone that might tell you that something different, you know. <coughs> I can't breathe. I can't breathe. I can't breathe through this. Because that's... I am... I am... Because that can talk of... That's, that's marriages and commitment and decision. Right? That's like court of law or karmic law. Karmic law, right? But karmic law is pretty much saying that you're committing yourself or someone is in a same cycle of not using their intuition of a three-party triangle. Or they are using their intuition and they realise that they're trapped in a three-party triangle and they're still trying to commit themselves to it or they're making a decision not to. Okay? So, and you've got the four of wands in reverse and that was in the next one. Four of wands in reverse. Ten as well. 
like people say, twin flame, don't get lost in the fucking mix because you'll fucking you'll get fucking spun out of control, which has happened in a lot of things. Four of Wands, unhappy home life, non-committal, non-twin flame, lost in purgatory, unhappy home life because of a three-parted triangle. Either, either use it, someone's now using their intuition and realizing that they were caught in one and they're now making the decision to realize that that was fake, right? Or they're not using their intuition, they're still caught in a three-parted triangle and they're very much committed to it and their, their home life is destructive. Emotionally broke and physically broke. Broken. Broken. And that can talk of church and God. That's what I've just heard, picked up. That can talk of church and God. Drinking. Drinking. Oh, God. I don't... Oh, God. I don't even want to see that vision of what I'm seeing. <laughs> I don't. Oh. No. <laughs> Fuck off. Piss off. Right. Four of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles. And I'm trying to keep my calm, Capricorn. Try not to be so aggressive. Four of Pentacles, please, Spirit. Four of Pentacles. What's the Four of Pentacles about? Cancer. Cancer, Sun, Moon, or Rising, or, or an actual Cancer sign. Being fixed, stern, stuck. Defend, uh, just like completely stubborn holding on to my money, my finances, my feelings, my thoughts. I'm not using my crown chakra. I'm not, I'm not receiving anything because my crown chakra is blocked and fixed as exactly the same as everything else. My money, I'm keeping hold of that too. I'm keeping hold of my feelings that create everything because I'm firmly committed in a marriage or something with children. Number seven, chariot. But depending on is moving moving could be so someone could be realizing about stubbornness and sternness and is now moving in a <laughs> new direction new direction waiting for my ships to come in but what are you fucking waiting for the titanic or fucking are you satanic what are you waiting for what you do not do in life is wait because that talks about fast movement and guidance and pure guidance so you could be seeking guidance or someone can and now waiting for my ships to come in but then you got the three that uh, could be coming out of it maybe fuck knows chariot please clarify the chariot because that's major so that's moving it's moving moving away from being someone that's like that or you are or they are realizing enlightenment see chariot talked about enlightenment Talks about the two fences, dark and light too. Codependency, spiritual awakenings. Could be a driver. You can, they can. Something to do with driving. The moon, Pisces or Cancer. Six of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Soulmate, reflection. Reflection in a moon, dark side of the moon of a number six. Or a Pisces or a Cancer. Cancer, Cancer. That can mean Pisces or Cancer, so that can be what's hidden. Can be what's hidden is a Pisces from a Cancer, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Soulmate, actual soulmate, or, or just reflection of the darkness. Darkness. So someone can be a Pisces and a Cancer, a Cancer and a Pisces, water in the chart. And what's hidden is the fact that I'm holding on to the fact of mind games and keeping it hidden because of two water signs within their chart. One of them's a soulmate and one of them's not. Like. Six of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. So that's kind of at the bottom of this one. Ten of Pentacles, Payday, a new offer of an ace. New direction again, three. Judgment, the Emperor. <coughs> but, you know, that's at the bottom of the deck. Maybe playing out, maybe not. Aries could be involved, or an actual emperor, a true emperor. Gives it back, leading the pack with a sting in his tail as the alpha male. So what's hidden, please, spirit? I pretty much said it. What's the moon about? See, last time I was trying not to do so many cards and there was an array of fucking mess. <laughs> an array of mess. The moon, please, what's the moon about, spirit? <laughs> there you go, that's come out three times. 
So if someone is waiting for the ships to come in or taking a new direction, but looking down at three ships, looking down at three water signs or three, could have three lots of water in different people's chart. That's what I'm picking up, chart as in charting a new course, as in chart of astrology of three ships with like in the water, one, two, this side. Three, so three lots of water signs are hidden from purgatory. Purgatory, that's sun, moon, rising, or Venus, or taking a new direction. So let's have a look, which is, what's the Three of Swords about, please? Three of Swords, what's the Three of Swords about? Oh God, new direction, expansion, growth. Now taking a new direction and realizing. Taking that one wand and probably ramming it up someone's fucking wuzwanger, right? Chocolate hole. <laughs> Taking that one wand and and looking in a new direction. But it is looking in that direction at another water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Yeah. Bottom of the deck. Taking a new direction. Fl reflection. <coughs> Sorry, <coughs> God. <coughs> Taking a new direction, excuse me, Capricorn. Taking a new direction and sailing into calmer waters. But then it progresses back through healing from mind games. You know, a player's a player, you know. You don't play checkers or jacks, jesters or fucking queens or kings. If you're a joker, piss off, you know. Can I get yourself out of codependent behaviour? Can't ever force it because that's what it's about. Force, karma. You got to release, let go, or 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 fucking continue. But <laughs> fuck, I just don't get people. I don't. I really don't. I just wish them good luck. There's no wishes here. The wish is being granted. Of committing yourself to fucking. Purgatory. <laughs> Let's have a look at the nine of wands. So what's PTSD? Well, what is PTSD about? This array. That's what PTSD is about. I've got one more wand left in my hand to take a new direction. Because I'm actually staring across at mind games that I've done or someone else has done to me. But I have one more wand left in me. Could be pregnant. Sorry, but that was... But something inside me could be pregnancy, or someone can be fertile, the empress, can be a masculine or feminine energy of. But let's have a look at the nine of wands, please, spirit, the nine of wands, stop. The emperor, also the page, uh, page the ace of pentacles, new seed of intention that is, that is created from the star is born that we did have a while back, later through the shuffle. So an emperor can be either controlling or not controlling. He has so much growth and wisdom that he, he absorbs all this bullshit energy and he can redirect it into a positive energy and give it back as a positive response and not a negative. You can never have a negative against a negative response because you have an explosion of the tower, which is the devil. The devil's loom, the devil's tomb creates an explosion of learning through astrology, north and south node of your karmic walk. Vedic astrology, timelines, different parts of the world, creating world cycles and ending them, past life, this life, next life, in order to take a new direction, to absorb all that energy and give it back, leading the pack, which is the counterpart to an empress. Empress is fertile and does things separately, realises things a little bit like King Charles and Lady Diana in Britain, England. You know, Lady Diana, I loved her very much and unfortunately she died, okay? But that's not what we're saying here. <clears throat> but she was very caring and giving and she'd done a lot of charity work. Okay, like the Ten of Pentacles that we did have. Did a lot of charity work or organizations, CEO, corporations, giving it back to people, being very loving, caring and nurturing was a fox as well you know but 
So let's see. What is the Empress about, please? Spirit. Check out the Leo. The Leo. Because I'm picking up the King of Pentacles. But that can be it can be an earth sign or anyone that can incorporate that kind of energy. People always go off star signs and it doesn't matter a shit. Anyone can take on that energy. You can be very grounded and stable and nurturing. And if you're a pimp or a player or a McLovin, that's not stable. That's like karma will come round and bite you on the ass. But karma is only ever dealt through decks when you do not participate in childish behaviour and ending world cycles. Thanks, Spirit. So it could be clarifying the Empress, but let's have a look. Empress, please, Spirit. Empress, please, Spirit. Queen of Swords. Communication. Can be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I always represent this one. I don't know about other people, but I represent this one as a Gemini moon. Because what I've been explaining through, the, through readings is the... The crown chakra and um, the wheel of fortune. You know, which one's pink? Which one's pink, Capricorn? You know, pink represents the base chakra and it's the Sanskrit word for the wheel. The wheel of fortune. The fortune that we ride along by being grounded and stern and fixed, like in our convictions of being caring and nurturing and not a fucking array of mess. Like the emperor. The Emperor and the Empress are very wise and very loving, caring and nurturing. So this represents a Gemini moon to me because spirit animal and what I've been explaining about the Koshic records and having that is your eighth chakra, spirit, spirit, spirit animal, but spirit and your eighth chakra, well it's your seventh chakra, but this is the eighth because it's the infinity sign. So when you have awakenings and you're socially aware, you realise it's yourself telling yourself. So you receive guidance of things that are hidden from you, the moon, where you don't need to figure things out if you keep doing it, because it's, because it's yourself that tells you yourself. It's you that's hiding it from yourself. You hide things from yourself, you do it yourself. That's just, just this, just Radiohead, just. Probably put the song in the description. But your song is going to be by Blind Melon and it's called Skinned. Skinned. I've figured out the weird science pretty much, I think, definitely through the other reading. By Blind Melon. Blind Melon. Blind. <laughs> soup. Stop stirring soup. Stirring up shit. Stirring custard. Uh, communication. Can be to do with Gemini. I've got well, Libra. Aquarius, Pisces, well, the Sun, the Queen, the Two of Cups, whoa, Temperance, God, the King. <coughs> I mean, I took all them because that's fucking what's there. So the Empress can be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or a Gemini Moon. That's just what I do. Can have uh, this is to do with um, communication or divine source of what I was talking about, Gemini's and Chakra trying to communicate with uh, psychically, telepathically, or can just mean communication in travel, or can mean that you work in travel, or that you are communicating with source now, divine source, and you're realizing someone is, you know, as well. It's, it doesn't matter whether you're feminine or masculine. But eight of wands, was also clarified by Libra and Justice. Just, what was I saying about the song? Just, okay. Communicating with an Aquarius, maybe. Well, that is Aquarius. Which is stripped down bare, realising about ourselves. Which one's pink? Which one's pink, Capricorn? Is it Gemini or Aquarius? Or is it all of us? You know, this talks about Adam, Eve and Lilith. Impurity, the goodness. You know, takes a fool's journey, wishes upon a star of Aquarius, and it comes back as Gemini. Gemini moon, I've said in other ones, or Gemini. Okay. Pisces. Okay. 
Was that in reverse? I could never work this one out. That might have been in reverse or not, I can't remember. But that it could have been in reverse and becoming unstuck. Unstuck, not hanging there. And becoming unstuck could have something to do with a Pisces or a water sign with Aquarius in their chart or Pisces in the chart. Finding the light, with inner wisdom, inner guidance, and the sun. And the sun now, finding clarity. Hopefully, maybe because someone's just found this. Did they, I mean, this has come up in the Pisces reading. Was it around here? It was around here, I think. I don't know. But the occult, the Akashic Records, someone that's very fire and passionate will take on criticism. As long as a powerful message is received by themselves or spirit, whatever you believe in, God, and it's delivered with force that drags people out of illusion, karmic illusion. An emperor takes on all the wisdom. Pisces, in this position here, have the emperor and the queen of wands. Also represents Jupiter that's going on as a collective. Okay, and Sagittarius. But also I have Aries in Jupiter, my birth chart. Okay. Mirror reflection of a soulmate energy, maybe, is understanding more about oneself. Confession. Confess. It's what we confess to the world. Confess our sins and it's received back as your true self, as Aquarius do. You know, it's about confession and release, mirror reflection of your own stupidity or what you do become to be, to become, to be a leader, to be an empress or an emperor. Temperance, and that was there in the last one. You know, you had a lot in the last one, pretty much a lot of the same kind of cards, to be honest. But fire and water. So what is Sagittarius? is um god what is the what is um yeah blah 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 excuse me jupiter right jupiter the ancient ruler of pisces and that's very prominent at the moment thank you spirit that's what they're trying to tell me because it's very prominent at the moment so jupiter brings in reward a bit like saturn saturn will force us to learn and it'll tick it's like a ticking time bomb and it ticks through retrograde. It ticks and what we're graded and what we're doing and what we're not doing. And will release that karma of what you've done or what you've not done. And it writes it down in a book. It goes into the Akashic Records. And you do it through a three structured concrete of what you've done and what you need to release and what you don't. Karma is just there to look over that through retrograde and being prominent to say, well, I'm still watching and I'm ticking. Jupiter will bring in that reward when, when you realised things about yourself. About yourself, and it brings in reward of the sun. The sun of God. The sun of us all. We are the sun. We are one. We are everybody. We are God, and we walk it every single day. And Lucifer. Lucifer does the most amount of work that teaches us about codependency and addiction. Drinking, drugs, alcohol, gambling addiction, sex addiction, codependent ways of thinking, being, living, the matrix. It's not real, it's an illusion. Okay, so fire and water, weird science, weird science, fire and water and oil, weird science. The code has been cracked. So the Queen of Pentacles, or well, my coding, I just told you it. <laughs> Queen of Pentacles, please, Spirit. Queen of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles. The Magician. The Five of Cups. <coughs> so, the Queen of Pentacles talks about an earth qualityed energy of a star it can be like Aquarius and it grows into a seed of attention um, intention and um, is like birth and rebirth because the Queen of Pentacles can also represent pregnancy too 
but a cycle of rebirth and regeneration that sets a new seed of intention outwardly and can be planted but it's still just like opportunity opportunity okay and then there's the one of the magician which is trying to manifest the new but manifesting seems to have brought out the five of cups on top of that so that can mean virgo pisces or what is it virgo or pisces because of the the um you know the in, the, the intellectual mind of seeking wisdom that in picks upon the hangman and virgo with the light guiding light of themselves the oil quality of water virgo and pisces so it can be manifesting new divine source because we had the communication but still focusing on the past and trying to come out of purgatory but maybe still caught in it don't know so let's see do you have the nine of wands under that which is fast fast action this way fast action this way so the five of cups five of cups five of cups please clarify the five of cups please spirit an ending an, en an ending and a completion thank god capricorn an ending someone is ex well it, it i mean 10 is a cycle of a new beginning so you know you either seek guidance and wisdom off me and drop all this bullshit or someone do it or it continues into december but that's an ending and it's as far as it gets as far as it gets so it's becoming more grounded and, stir and, and nurturing for children or giving or caring or whatever to make new seeds of intention opportunity to start to manifest anew because of the past and it's been an ending. So we need to clarify with a Capricorn. So you could be involved with a Capricorn or someone is or an ending is just going to take you back to another cycle. To another cycle of codependency codependency restriction and control narcissism but let's see can you tell me more about the ten of wands please spirit fucking hell we've nearly gone through the deck from a jack to a king <laughs> the knight of swords Fast action after an ending going this way, going towards goodness. Because cause this, Capricorn, the only good part really in this is the lesson that should have been learned, right? And it's like here, here, in the middle. Piggy in the middle, sorry. <laughs> Piggy in the middle, I'll just add. But let's have a quick look at the the emperor, please, spirit. Can you tell me any more about the emperor? Seeking guidance from someone that is CEO, and very wise, very intellectual, is open, but will not fucking accept any bullshit into their lives. Knight of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles. <laughs> Sorry, but can you see Capricorn? I just pick it up as well, like I did in Leo's. My bed sheets. <laughs> feminine or masculine, don't matter. I'm, I'm more of a, I was a feminine, now I'm masculine. Now I become an emperor. But can you see that? Can you see that? But overall, it's, it can mean Scorpio, this one, to me, because Scorpio's like, um, Scorpio, it depends where in your chart, but Scorpio likes um, nice things. They like nice things, Scorpio, generally. They do, all the Scorpios that I know do, especially women, they do. They like nice things. You know, they like to feel wanted, and they like, um, they like to feel luxurious. You know, they do. 
So it kind of represents Scorpio to me, or an Earth sign, or someone that can kind of represent that kind of quality. <clears throat> Feeling victorious, Six of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, having strength to do it. Yeah, I mean that was what I was saying. That's the, you know you go from the you go from the Nine of Pentacles to the Ten, that reflects the same back because the Six of Cups. For a six, six and six, ten, twelve. Can be a Pisces. Pisces. So I don't there's no more that really needs that really needs clarifying Capricorn. So I do apologise if I flipped out at the beginning, but the last reading was I couldn't make a lot of sense of it because it was weird science. And I got a message halfway through that and it was my best friend asked me to go out. So I did, and um, it, Spirit is telling me that it, it shouldn't really be aired, because it's kind of the same, there's a lot of the same cards, but it's I've basically just read it the best that I can. Okay, there was some, there was, in that one, here was, here, so I'm looking at it on my editing screen, was the Two of Cups, the Four of, what was that, the Four of um, Sailing, Sailing Away, wherever that was. The Four of Swords, the Four of Swords, and something else that I can't see. Next to it was the Ten of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands. Ace of Wands. So there's a lot of kind of the same, but um, I don't know what you've got going on, Capricorn. I'm sorry this is an array and a mess, but there's a lot of work that I'm going to be doing with a lot of people. I'm going to be opening up readings very soon, hopefully. Okay, I do a lot of dark work ascension where I'm trying to ridicule people of things, but we're doing a lot of Having a lot of fun with dark and light, codependent behaviours of toxic behaviour of codependency, fear of abandonment, Mr. Plate, Mr. Cup, <laughs> okay, dark and light essentially, I've got the plate, but there is plenty of things that you can watch that are also motivational videos that are on my channel too, it's not just readings, there's a lot of things that I do with editing and spiritual kind of work, there's a lot of things in the description that you can follow which is becoming the change, becoming the change from feminine to masculine, that's what that means, okay, um, there's Broken Hearts Beat the Most, and there's Karmic Book of Shadows that are two private links. And then there's a business page which is becoming the change. And everything else will be in the description. And your songs, very important, will be in the description for you to listen to. Please check out your Sun, Moon or Risings as well, or whatever you would like. And also check out the songs within them too. Because, God, I've everything relates to the songs and the videos. Watch the videos. With your sun, moon, or rising, watch the videos. Put the pieces together. It's not weird science. Okay, it's definitely something to do with Leo. Okay, but um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that Capricorn, and I will catch you next time. Peace.